Good morning. I'm Council Member Mark Jonai, Chair of Committee on Small Business, and I'd like to welcome you to our vote on Intro 1408B, a bill designated to make more affordable retail space available for businesses who need it. Thank you for making time for us today. Small businesses are the lifeblood of the city. Our local businesses are major employers of city residents, add billions of dollars to the city's GDP, and are anchors in their communities, providing, providing culturally relevant goods and services and a space for neighbors to convene. Despite local mom and pop shops being an integral aspect of our city's unique and vibrant culture, small businesses are finding it more and more difficult to keep their doors open. The rise of e-commerce, big box store competition, and changes in consumer behavior, and excessive government regulation and taxes are making it hard for our small businesses to survive. This has impacted micro businesses across the city and the country for that matter. In my, in my own Bronx district alone, a hobby shop known as Hobby Heroes, after 45 years in business on East Tremont Avenue, is now shutting its doors due to the pressures they're facing from e-commerce competition. Increasing rents are also a major obstacle for mom and pop shops. This month, Nears Tavern in Queens, which opened in 1829 and is commonly known as the city's oldest bar, nearly closed due to a dramatic rent increase. Providing more affordable retail space is essential to ensuring our cherished neighborhood shops can survive. Intro 1408B would compel the city to conduct a study each time certain development projects receive city funding. The city's study would include an analysis of the neighborhood and commercial environment to determine whether affordable retail space is appropriate for the neighborhood. That space would be leased to micro businesses at a below market rate and chains and businesses engaging in direct competition with neighborhood shops and restaurants would not be eligible. We look to this bill to increase below market rate retail space for our independently locally owned businesses. We must work to protect our commercial corridors so they can maintain the vibrancy of our neighborhoods the tax base and character of our communities at a time when they are under attack. This piece of legislation we are voting on today will further my goal as chair of the committee to protect and empower our hardworking micro businesses to achieve the success they deserve. I want to remind everyone that this bill will only go so far. I encourage New Yorkers to give back to their neighborhoods by shopping locally and buying locally. If the delivery man knows your face and your name and sees you more frequently than your locally mom and pop owned business, you are a part of the problem and not the solution. With that, I want to thank my staff, Chief of Staff Reggie Johnson, the Committee on Council, Stephanie Jones, the Policy Analyst, Noah Meixler, and finally, I want to recognize the committee members that have joined us today. We have Council Member Rosenthal, Council Member Perkins with us, and, and Councilman Levin. Um, I was hoping, and I don't think we have Council Member, oh, and my dear friend, Council Member Cornegie, who is so small that I just over, <laughs> I overlooked him. Um, the introducer of the bill may uh, stop in to say a few words, but he's chairing his own committee. And with that, I leave it to you to do roll call. Uh, I'm sorry, I call on Council Member Cornegy, who would like to uh, make a statement. So although I'm uh, currently not the, a member of the Small Business Committee, I am the Chair of Housing and Buildings, and I wanted to come by and congratulate uh, the bill sponsor as well as the Chair on it, their nuanced thinking around providing commercial affordability to mom and pop businesses on every commercial corridor throughout the city of New York who are facing tremendous stress around escalated leases. Uh, we have a responsibility as a city 
to be nuanced in our thinking and to come up with solutions. We cannot turn the other way. We cannot blame it on all of the market forces. We have to be responsible. And um, it makes me very proud to be a member of a council with committed members who are solution oriented. So I want to just uh, thank the chair and the bill sponsor for their nuanced thinking. And I would love to proudly vote aye, except I'm not a committee, but I will vote aye later once it's voted out of this committee um, in the stated meeting. Thank you. Thank you, Council Member. I also want to acknowledge that we've been joined by uh, Council Member Rodriguez. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote, committee on small business. Introduction 1408B, Chair Jonai. Aye. Aye. Levin. Aye. Rodriguez. Aye. Rosenthal. Aye. Perkins. Aye. By a vote of five in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, item has been adopted by the committee. Hearing is officially closed.